Buongiorno, cari telespettatori. I will try to learn Italian in seven days. Come stai? Mi chiamo Gina. Petto. Petto. Brain is buzzing at the beach. Io sono studentessa. Morning. I'm so excited. I've always felt passionate towards learning new languages because I'm bilingual and this summer my Italian relatives came and that really motivated me to learn Italian and I'm very excited where this will take me. In the course of the next seven days, I will be using the best Italian learning book, as I've been told, and I'm also going to use some language learning apps, and I will be watching a 16-video YouTube course from a Russian teacher, and hopefully this all will get me to somewhat of a progress. Io ho, tu hai, lui ha, lei ha, noi abbiamo, voi avete, loro hanno. Io ho amato, tu hai amato, lui ha amato, lei ha amato, noi abbiamo amato, voi avete amato, loro hanno amato. Okay, so I watched the first video out of 16 on this YouTube learning course and I learned how to kind of build sentences with verbs and pronouns and also I learned about like the past tense sentences and the negative sentences so that was very, very good and very helpful but now I will use this app called Memrise um, to kind of uh, learn some of the new words because I haven't learned any of them. I also did use the Anki app and I put some of the new words into it. I wanted to learn some verbs that I wanted to learn. The next hour or two I'm gonna devote to learning new words and I'm hoping that's gonna be very fun. Ciao, hi or bye. Bye. Dai. Come. Come. How. Come is how. Well, basically, I already learned some of like the questionnaire words. Come stai. Come st how are you? Come stai. Okay, this is the first phrase thing that we learned. Definitely be useful. By the way, I really like the way this app works because it's like a real person saying the phrase and then there's a translation. More realistic than in Duolingo because in Duolingo it's like a robot type of person. Okay, so, come stai? Io bene. E tu? I think that's right. I'm really enjoying this so far. I love it. It's so much fun. Come ti chiami? Mi chiamo Zina. Capito? That's why we need Anki for space repetition, because it's not that easy to remember all the words. <laughs> and we need to revise them pretty often. I love the emotion and energy that goes into saying Italian words. Like it's not just bene, it's like 
bene. It makes you say it happily. This gives me a major Luca flashback, Pixar movie. Talked about tolerating people and accepting everyone just the way they are, and it's such an important message. There was like a little video of people talking. I understood the word mangiare, to eat. I was so happy. I was like, oh my goodness, it's happening. some of the words but to be honest with you my head is exploding i will probably just have a little rest and then i will watch the second video of the course that i'm uh, doing on youtube because those videos were helpful i learned a lot of words from them and secondly obviously grammar and sentences and tenses and stuff like that just continue doing memorize because whatever memorize is doing is work it's working grazie that's all I can say for now. Buongiorno, buonasera e buonanotte. Arrivederci. Prego. Piacere. Io sto bene. Molto bene. Molto male. Così così. Se tu non lavori, non mangi. Buongiorno, mi chiamo... Zina, io sono e studente, io abito e lavora, lavoro a Mosca. Ridere, calendario, usare, giugno, nove, nove, domenica, Sunday. Buon pomeriggio, buon pomeriggio, pomeriggio. Okay, I'm done with Italian for the day um, and my brain is buzzing with information. Hopefully tomorrow everything will be still in here. I will listen to Maneskin. It's an Italian band. You probably have heard of it. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I also found a couple of great um, like YouTube channels and blogs that talk about like Italian or like Italian vlog with subtitles. In English and different languages and I'm gonna share that with you tomorrow the alarm is already set for 9 a.m. for tomorrow to start a learning because we only have six days left see you tomorrow good morning 
day two of learning Italian and this time at the beach. Also oh, so sedate for me. By the way, basically fa caldo is hot and fa freddo is cold and because of the fact that caldo resembles with the word cold so much um, it's hard for me to remember that it's hot and I'm not sure why but freddo just means hot for me I don't know why this is very hard for me to remember but then what is easy so <laughs> Io voglio ascoltare Maneskin. So the studying continues, but there are a lot of irregular verbs that are so hard to remember. They just need to be learned, but I do see the progress, which I really enjoy. You know what I find myself doing? Whenever I talk or I try to learn the word, I do this, like the <laughs> gestures of Italian people. I, f I find myself being like, Nove. <laughs> Mi chiamo Gina. Io sono studentessa. Uh -huh. Io abito a Mosca. I uh, Moscosci. Uh, io piace libri e leggere. E io piace imparare italiano. third day starts with learning Italian with Lucrezia YouTube channel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right. She has like vlogs with different subtitles and it's very fun. Also, this right here, this video, might be my favorite Italian song. The plan for the next hour is to just sit in the Anki app and learn as many words as I can and then we'll see figure it out as we go. take a moment to say how useful the Anki app is and just in general the method that lays behind Anki and Quizlet and Memrise and those types of apps constantly replaying the word in your brain constantly being quizzed on it is so useful for like words and grammar and learning language Anki is a way to go so yeah the problem is I'm learning the words, understanding the grammar, but I still can't talk. I still don't really know how to build sentences. 
So maybe I'm doing something wrong. Stick around. Now I'm going to search for that grammar book. And I'll find it. And I'll read it. And I'll memorize it. From the core to the core. Whatever. I should do like seven days of learning English, by the way. If I could think of the term opposite of productive, that would be yesterday. Today is going to be productiveness level, Mr. Beast. Domani alle nove io imparo l'italiano. Right now I'm learning the uh, numbers and time. So yesterday, today and numbers. And like how to ask what time it is, how to tell people what time it is and how to use different numbers in sentences. Oggi alle nove io voglio parlare um, italiano con mio YouTube. To be honest with you, I've had a hard time figuring out what my hobbies are or what I like, how I like to spend my time and this video has been a very good example of something that makes me happy because I enjoy learning languages and I know it's not easy to pursue your desires and goals but it's definitely worth it. So yesterday I met a relative that uh, lived in Italia for a while and she knows Italian fluently and unfortunately I couldn't understand a word of what she was saying. For today I decided that I really will focus on studying vocabulary and different verbs instead of laser focusing on grammar and then not knowing what anyone says. Also this woman recommended me very good websites for new words so that's what I'm going to be using as well. She was like, take it slow, and I'm like, yeah, well, you don't know that I have seven days for this, so you're telling me that, but if I told her I need to study Italian in seven days, she's, she would probably think I'm crazy and just give up on me. So day six caught me moving to a different city, so majority of the time I was traveling and I really couldn't study anything new, but I did have time to listen to Italian music and I did find a good Italian learning podcast and if you want me to share it with you, I will. There's this Instagram page and it's called Italian Matters and I love it. I love the way this girl just does videos on literally like different words in English and then their translation. And she also has a free print, which is Italian Pronouns Blueprint by Italian Matters. And it's so handy and I love it. And to be honest, pronouns were a little bit tricky for me and the reason is because sometimes some of them are used depending on the word you're using them with. So whether it's female or male depends on the word you use with them. It's tricky. It's a little bit tricky. So I'm definitely going to be using this one. 
So I almost totally missed yesterday. I haven't studied anything at all almost um, because we were moving and going to a different town and I kind of fell off with Italian. But today is the final day of me cramming Italian and then showing you the results of what I achieved in um, these seven days. I'm going to revise absolutely everything I learned these days. Probably maybe some of you are Italian and you're gonna help me find out if I had any progress at all because unfortunately there's no one else to correct me or to check up my progress. Buongiorno cari telespettatori, oggi è l'ultimo giorno uh, quando io imparo l'italiano. Mi piace Italia e lingua italiana e mi piace riprese video per lei. Grazie per la visione. I am completely aware of the fact that you can learn much more Italian in seven days than I did and you can devote more time to learning it than I did. But I 100% enjoyed learning it. I enjoyed immersing myself into Italian culture, Italian people, the way they talk, like listening to Italian music, watching Italian vlogs. So I will for sure continue learning Italian. I'm hopefully going to be able to have a, a teacher that will help me and guide me through this incredible journey of learning Italian. I loved it and who knows, one day hopefully I will be able to go to Italy, talk to native speakers and just document it for you. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. That will really help me in my channel. And if you want me to continue making these types of videos, also comment. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and grazie per la visione.